Right, guys, we are here. We're in Vegas. This is Yannicka in the cool window. This is our view. <coughs> Didn't film yesterday because travel day was a long day. I thought sod that. But this is where we're at. On my little vloggy vlog camera. Did some check in pictures this morning, sent them to Jordan. I was quite happy with them. It's great because you can set the camera up there, literally, and then you can see what you're doing in there, and then the light is coming from the side. So you get a proper proper look. So yeah, we're gonna head out and get some food shopping now because we've got nothing. So um got the plan for today. Gotta keep the carbs nice and high. We had them like I had about 750 yesterday, maybe just over, and woke up relatively dry and relatively full. But I could definitely be pushed a little bit fuller. Um and not worry about being so dry yet, because it's not show day yet. The separation in my legs was the best it's been today. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. We're going to head to the shop anyway, and then when we get back, we'll get everything sorted and let you know what we're going to do for today. All right then, see you in a bit. Well, that was wrong. We had to, we went to Target. And they had nothing there, did they, Yannicka? No. <laughs> it was the worst Target I've ever seen. So, uh, just the usual turkey, chicken, some gluten-free stuff for Yannicka. Yannicka's sweating her bollocks off because she was wearing wool. Um, gonna have some breakfast now. I haven't actually had breakfast yet. So, it's about 10 o'clock, which is perfect. That's normally when I would have my first meal anyway, so. Burned a bit of fat this morning, I'm walking around like a motherfucker. Right, breakfast done. Uh, plan, plan of action. Spoke to John this morning. Um, the look this morning, like I said earlier, was it, was it was a good balance between fullness and dryness. Took a good amount of food to kind of get there. Obviously, yesterday was a travel day, but we didn't. I didn't train yesterday, and we were laying down for the majority of the day, weren't we, Yannicka, in the plane? Um, water was just steady. I just drank as I saw fit. I just follow how my body feels, you know. Like if the body feels like it needs to drink, it drinks. If I don't, then I don't. Passing quite a good amount of water yesterday, I was peeing a lot on the, the plane, so I think that's why I woke up uh, looking reasonable. So really I suppose just try and keep the water going in to keep flushing, to allow your body not to like, hold too much, uh, which will allow you in turn to keep an eye on how you're looking. Um, so I don't know, I'm not even going to weigh myself over the next few days. I'm not even going to look at scales. We were in the uh, supermarket and I was like, maybe I should get scales. And then I was like, you know what? No, fuck that. Let's do this all by how we look now. Because the problem with scales is they can trick you into thinking that you need to pull weight down or push weight up. When really what matters is how you're looking. And I want to get rid of that um, variable. It could be the right decision, it could be the wrong one. I don't know. I, I don't think it's the wrong one. And it, like this entire prep, every time I've made a decision to cut or introduce something, it's been on my own terms. And I like that. <laughs> and I'm gonna continue being that way. And, and Jordan didn't moan, I didn't, didn't tell him my weight this morning. He was just like, it looks great. So the problem is if, if, if we look at weight now and I eat a lot and then wake up really like 10 pounds heavy the next day, there can sometimes be a cause for concern because you don't think humanly possible to put 10 pounds on and still be as lean or look as good. But if no one told you and you look at the physique and you've put 10 pounds on and it looks incredible and you like it, that's all that really should matter. So, um, objective of this week is to keep this food no less than what it's kind of currently going in up. There's no point going down to baseline again. We've been there multiple times. This is the final week before the show. It's not even the final week, it's what is it, it's Tuesday today. Show's on Friday, guys. We're like three days out. We've got two training days left, like, and they're not going to be crazy. Um, a pull, pull in a push day. Um, so yeah, I just think keep the food just baseline now, like nice and high. And then if the day before the show, like, like I look bloaty as hell, then the day of the show, we just take that into account and pull the food back a touch. Because I think you can really have the food high all the way up to the day of the show, considering that the show's going to be an evening show. You know, Friday, my prejudging is not till 6 p.m. and it's not gonna be till later than that because we're last on on that day and then I'll be on 7 p.m. on Saturday because we're first on that day. So 
it's going to be evening either way. So with that being said, you have all day to kind of allow for digestion to be, you know, looked after, kept in a good place. Uh, Jordan lands on Wednesday as well, Wednesday evening, and he said he come and have a look Wednesday evening. And then really, like, yeah, we only need Thursday because we only really need Thursday and Friday to, like, know what to do. Like, the work's kind of done. Um, we're not doing a protocol that involves manipulating water this far out, so therefore there's no need for me and Jordan to be, like, looking at myself every 10 minutes. Um, I know some coaches introduce some methods earlier on, and that's fine. And if you have to have your coach pop in from four days out and keep an eye on how things are going, great. Our approach has been a little bit different this year, where it's kind of like a two-day approach. You know, as long as the food's in and the body's full by the day before the show, then it gives you a nice amount of ample space to moderately pour water if needed. Um, the last show versus the first show, I think we could have done a slightly better job at the Arnold, but I think the reason being the Arnold was... Um, I think we just had a little bit better control of water on the day because Jordan was there. Obviously, in Italy, I was kind of guessing a little bit, kind of ran off what we did, and it still was fine. But I know that I, I could have been a touch drier in Italy, maybe if I had cut the water, maybe not cut the water, but reduced the total water intake maybe slightly <laughs> earlier. Um, I did push for fullness in Italy, I did really try to get the food in. I, I in um, the Arnold, I was very aware of how much I was eating and if anything, I was on the edge of not eating to avoid any bloat. Um, whereas in Italy, I was like, okay, I'm going to push a little bit more than the Arnold, a little bit closer to the show. I think I ended up having my... Because the timings were a bit odd, I think I had a little bit of food closer to the show than I did in the Arnold. And that made me slightly less confident and comfortable in my midsection at the show, even though it still paid off and the show was great, the, the, the self-comfort wasn't quite the same. So for the Olympia, really in my mind, I want to be really nicely fed midday, Friday, with no need to really eat much more and uh, just let things digest and then, and then just go on stage pretty dry, pretty full and just see what's what, you know? I, I, what are my expectancies of the show? They're not like, I know with bodybuilding, the, the amount of variation in how you can look can be really extreme. And I, I believe that I have a physique that could be anywhere in the top, uh, as high as like fifth, and as low as like, God, as low as, uh, shouldn't be as low as low, but it can be pretty low. Thank you. Um, but there's people with structures that look better than mine if I'm not full. So really, I just have to make sure that I'm full. You know, I'm playing this game this year that I want to be nice and full. I want to look back at the pictures, like I said, and be like, that's a bodybuilder. I'm really impressed with that look. Um, that over anything, that over pleasing people, that over pleasing judges, that over pleasing other spectators. I just have a certain look that I inspire to bring for the people that love the round mass monsters. So, uh, yeah. Plans today. Um, obviously, just eating the first meal. Need to have a good shower. I haven't showered since yesterday. Since two days ago. Yeah, there was no point um, on the travel. And then when I got in last night here, I was like, I'm going straight to bed because I could have gone to the gym last night. And I know people that have off the back of a flight, but I'm like, fuck that, man. Like, one thing I've learned about bodybuilding this year is that the more relaxed you are, the better. Um, and the old me would have been like, yeah, I need to be hardcore. I need to get off a plane and I'll flush and walk around. If anything, because I went to bed early last night and had a good sleep, I woke up drier for it. So I'm trying to keep the quarters all at bay. I'm listening to myself. I think I'm a knowledgeable person. I think I know a lot more than I think I know. And I'm starting to realise that. So, yeah, really lucky to have Jordan and Yannicka in my corner. Yannicka had a look at me this morning. Um, she, she liked the shots. She thought they were good. We've got a really good skyline here. Like, the lights coming in. I showed you on the video earlier from the side. So check-ins is perfect. Like I can literally stand there and have proper daylight because I don't like to do these check-ins under bulbs and stuff like that. I hate that. So th this is ideal, um, and I'm happy with how I was looking. So um, probably we'll probably go flexes later, won't we? It's kind of weird not doing it. It's going to be busy, but I don't mind that. It's like the whole fun of the weekend is to see people you know, isn't it? 
doesn't really matter. We're all like getting on stage together. We're all sharing a space. Um, it's a social event as well as a, it's a social event as well as it's a competition. And especially being at this time of year where it's really near to Christmas, there's a little bit of different feel to it. And it doesn't mean you're any less focused or intense. It's just the part of that focus is also enjoying it in a different way. Um, There'll be many people that are here that will not probably make eye contact with me. That will be like, he's my enemy until we get off stage. I don't really feel like that at all. I feel blessed to see everybody. I feel blessed that we're all in this <coughs> amazing position where we're on the, the Super Bowl of bodybuilding stage in this crazy place called Vegas in the middle of the desert together. We've all flown like, you know, everyone that doesn't live in the USA has had to fly halfway across the world to come here and be here. Just gotta take it in. Just gotta take it in. So uh, yeah, so food shopping is done. Uh, just the usual stuff, like I said. Chicken, rice, almond bar, protein powder. <laughs> Nothing special. Just keep it really basic. She's got cookies and cake. I'll probably limit a little bit like some of the other things I was having uh, this week, like um, sometimes I have like a bit more fruit than other times, but I think for digestion's sake, especially in the last couple of days of the show, I'll probably be mindful of that. Um, but yeah, there's not really anything else to say. Oh, the only thing I was gonna say is obviously I brought some of my baby rice with me. There is no baby rice here, so I've brought some cream of wheat because it's hard to find cream of rice in um, this part of the, this this state because uh, I know that like California, no not California sorry, um, Florida like, has a lot of cream of rice. It's just everywhere in Publix everywhere. Here it's like not so uh, available. Um, so I've got some cream of wheat and I've got some grits and I'm going to give that a go today probably just to see how digestibility is and if it's fine then I'll stick to it. If not then we we'll just go over to normal rice or try to source some cream of rice somehow. So uh, yeah. Right, well, that's me done for now. I'll do some cooking stuff and then I'll get back to you guys. Peace. Bye-bye. That's kind of my plan for today. Rice in my beard. This is just chicken. Badman rice. A couple of green beans just for a little bit of fibre and a small splash of apple cider vinegar I can smell that. for digestion. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if I've recorded any of that or not. Did I not? Did I not record any? That's why I said, are you recording? Can you say it yet? Well, I didn't record any of that, but anyway, I'm with Ben Chang. <laughs> I did make a joke earlier because we're in a fucking Chinese restaurant and obviously Ben Chow's Chow. It's called PF Chang and I said we're in PF Chow's. I'm leaving. He's great now. Two racist cars we've played too many times already. Um, but anyway, yeah, sorry. Caught up with Ben. Had a coffee. Really nice to see him. Keep it short and sweet. Getting some lunch. Uh, Ben's kindly said, do we want to go to the gym with him later? Um, so I'm up for it if Ben doesn't mind. He's obviously got a couple of guys doing the, uh, the NPR, three guys doing the NPR, so that's really cool. Another Brit, Neil Curry, who's in incredible condition, but I feel very sorry for him because the geezer is shredded inside out and has to make weight for classic. <laughs> so rather, rather him than me. And um, yeah, we'll see. I'll um, keep you updated. We're going to just enjoy ourselves for a little while. And uh, I'll catch you in a bit. So are we picking him up on route? No, we're just going to shoot to the gym and meet him. Cool. How are they getting there? They got their own truck. Oh, nice. We're back with Benny again. We're heading to Ele Elevation Fitness. Seems to be one of the popular gyms of this weekend. Well, this week, a lot of people have been there. Probably bump into quite a few other people, I assume. So yeah. British crew will hang out. Yeah. Rhea's gonna be there, Dean. I'm not British though. You are British. Yeah. You're basically British. Yeah. yeah. We made it to uh, Elevation Fitness. Looks like a great gym. Got some regular faces from Britain. Hey, we've got some. Oh, look who it is. It's Mr. Dean White. Hey. Um, Rhea's here. Uh, Hunter's here. Ben's here. Camille's here. Andrew's here somewhere. 
Park. Yeah, it looks like a great little gym. So just gonna do some back. Not gonna do anything crazy tonight. Um, yeah, not gonna do anything crazy. I'm gonna just get some good contractions, squeeze, do some gay shit. Anyway, I will uh, catch you after. Not really gonna film training because it's not really training. It's just pussy stuff. So um, I might get the old little clip, but there's nothing notable. There's gonna be no seven plate deadlifts. Oh, I'll see you in a bit. Barber gum. Bar trim. Got trim. Bar trim. Bar trim. trim. Bar trim. <laughs> bar trim. Bar trim. I don't even know all the words. Anyway, we just been to the gym, got back. Um, the obviously, lights, I didn't film right onto planet training because there's no point because it's just fluff stuff. But got to catch up with obviously Ben, Dean, uh, Hunter, um, Neil, and it was cool. So heading back to our room now, going to eat. Got a relatively long night ahead of getting food in, but it's all good because we haven't got to be up super early tomorrow or anything. Um, Athletes meeting is tomorrow, which Ben raised awareness of, but that's not till tomorrow night. So just got to do some training tomorrow. Again, I'll probably go at a similar time as the boys. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll get an Uber there or whatever and see what's what. Um, are you training tomorrow, Annika? Yep. What are you training? Back and shoulders. Right. Massive fucking back. Massive fucking back. And then yoked. I'm just going to do some push and some abs and that's me done. So yeah, that's it. Back at the room in a minute. And then... Uh, eat show you what food's going down it's nothing interesting no cheap food it's all the basic shit right we're back from where we were <laughs> the gym I'll just put you there hopefully this doesn't turn off and I'm just chilling I've had four of my eight meals today <laughs> so it's going to be a late one because it's already, what's the time, Yannicka? Quarter to nine. Quarter to nine. <coughs> yeah. So I have to eat through the night. But it's fine. It's part of what we do. It's called carbon up. Anyway. Um, did the last little back workout. Uh, did a couple of sets of, kind of like a DY pull down. Couple of sets of like a single arm neutral grip pull down. That was a bit wank, the machine wasn't that good, but the first machine was alright. Um, couple of sets of barbell row, nothing heavy, 140. Uh, a couple of sets of low grip on a T bar chest supported row, really good chest supported T bar row. It's an Atlantis one, I think, with a seat, so it's like a 45 degree angle, but it's also got a seat that comes out, so you could really just be comfortable. Opted for like a wide lowish grip, uh, and then I just did a couple of sets on a hammer low row, but one with a horizontal grip, and then one with like a, a, a sorry, one with a vertical grip, one with a horizontal grip. Then did a couple of sets of preacher curl on the bicep hammer strength machine, <laughs> dumbbell hammers. Um, just got a message from Fu, I don't speak, I'll read that in a second. I think he said, sorry I missed you today, because he was coming, he was due to come and he missed his flight. <laughs> He's here now, but he uh, missed his first flight, I heard. Um, and then just a few sets of the rear fly and some abs. And then tomorrow the plan is just finish up with some push. So it'll be just basic push session. Really just holding back a little bit on the intensity. It's not like I do any less, but I just don't kill myself. Like I lifted a bit of weight today, still wanted to stimulate the muscle a bit, but there was no like real exertion as such. But it's an opportunity to kind of create a little bit of demand for the food that we're trying to put in. Obviously, if you're not giving yourself any reason to need to eat, then you're not going to need to eat, <laughs> simply put. So tomorrow we're going to have to train a little bit earlier just because we've got an athletes meeting tomorrow evening. Um, I think that's like, what, 7pm? We've got a business meeting tomorrow. We've got a little, little business thing to sort out. Might tell you about that later. It's pretty cool, hopefully. Hopefully we do that tomorrow. We should do it tomorrow. We've got time. And then another little gym visit. And tomorrow, I suppose we should try to get flexes, shouldn't we? Even though I've paid for that other gym. <laughs> so I went to uh, Elevate today, and I paid for today and tomorrow. 
and it was $25 per visit. So I've paid $100 because I was like, oh, I might as well pay for tomorrow as well. And obviously I'm kind, so I paid for Yannicka because she's too tight to pay for herself. But I said, pay for tomorrow. Wait, wait, but then why did I pay for you today, I wonder? Huh? Why did I pay for you today? Yeah, but why did I pay for you today? You didn't ask me to pay. See, I'm a good bloke. Like, I don't think you realise, guys, I'm very nice to my girlfriend. I am the professional here, yeah? Professional bodybuilder. I turn up at a gym, and I don't even say to you, okay, where's your wallet? I pay for us both. Tell me that's not a good chap. Well, consider everything I do for you. Yeah, I'm just saying, just saying, just saying. I'm very, very good to you. You cost me $50 today. <laughs> Um, and yeah, we went there with Ben and uh, Hunter and Dean were training. Uh, they just did some arms, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> it's weird because they do how I used to train for a show. So what they've done is they've trained every body part down to training arms. And then they do tomorrow be like an all over little pump. And they used to do that. I don't do that anymore. I just keep my split the same now for the last few shows. The only time I did a little pump all over was in Spain, wasn't it? Uh, not in Spain, in Italy. And that was just because we had one extra day before the show where I needed to do something and I had trained everything. So the only way I would do like an overall pump is if let's say I trained tomorrow and I still had like three, four days till the show, then I would do the overall pump. So it just depends how your training fell. Then the boys training obviously fell earlier than mine and they've done everything. There's no right way or wrong way. There's no need to stress about it. It's just as long as you do what makes you feel comfortable. Um, so, I need to try and source while well, I'll be something similar to this. Because this is my go-to carb source other than oh, rice. I might go to Walgreens. Oh, I think there's like a farm too short. Yeah. They probably do like baking rice. Yeah, so if you had a, it'll be expensive, but it is what it is. Like this, <coughs> I get this off Amazon, and if you noticed, I was using the, um, what one was I using, what's it called? Cowan Gate. Yeah. I was using the Cowan Gate one where you get 100 grams times five packets for, there was a special eight pound, 50, but they're normally 10 pound. This you get, I think you get four or five packs of 160 grams for about the same price. So you end up getting 60 grams extra times five. So six times five, 200 grams extra. Uh, no, 300 grams extra. Something like that anyway. So you get quite a lot extra for the money. So if you are someone that's using baby rice, look for the hip organic. Save yourself a little bit of money or just save yourself a lot more money and to use cream of rice. But I just, I don't know, I like unflavored um, and I like the texture of these particular ones. I feel like it digests really well. Uh, I had it last night for my last three meals, believe it or not, in a row, and I had no digestive issues. Woke up this morning looking how I looked in the picture that I posted this morning, and I thought that was a good look. So that just tells me that it, it causes no irritation. It digests well, and it's it's good. And I have that with the um, Isolate. So this is the Iso Fuji. Um, this isn't our nicest taste in Iso Fuji because this one's like more clean. This is the uh, micro, so this micro encapsulated one. But when you're thinking about purely from a digestive standpoint and just getting a certain amount of protein in, a serving of this is like 30 grams and it gives you like 20, what is it, 24 I think, 25 grams of protein. And I don't need a lot more than that per serving now because it's still show week and I'm not really breaking now muscle in the gym. So my meals now have less protein in proportion than they would have had, let's say, last week. Um, last week I was eating 200 grams, let's say, of chicken per meal. Now I'm happy to have one chicken breast, whether that's 150 grams. I don't really care. I just cook chicken breasts now and have one per meal. Um, just because I think it's still good to have, obviously, a certain amount of protein, but you don't need as much if you're not training to failure or trying to grow a current. Um, other than that guys, not a lot going on. It's going to be a quiet one tonight. More going on tomorrow. And then uh, Thursday the fun begins with tanning and stuff. I think we're going to do a tan of our own. Uh, Thursday kind of AM. Because we've got a tan booked for 6pm. And then after that, I think at 7 is the athletes meeting, isn't it? Yeah, that's tomorrow. 
no athletes meet and, meet and greet sorry so the meet and greet's tiring last year when i did that i was battered um so i'm f making sure i'm fully fed and prepared going into this one you guys know how tiring like talking can be and, and when you're doing an event like this one thing you want to do is you want to be a great ambassador for what we do and you don't want to miss anybody you don't want to give anybody a bad impression so you, you go out of your way to talk to everybody and shake every hand and i like being like that it's not false of me to do that but if you can hear my voice now like even talking today to people my throat's somewhat kind of stressed already it's going to be like that but worse come that day because there's a lot of handshaking last year at the olympia I don't know how many people I must have spoke to, Yannick, but it was, it was hundreds, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and I think we've built up a, a greater following in the year since, so it might be even busier. Um, and this is going to be a bigger Olympia. It's in Vegas again, so... You've got pictures to sign. I've got some pictures to sign this time, so I might be able to give back a little bit, but it's going to be very tiring. So I'm just going to make sure I'm very, very fed, because the last thing you want to be is super depleted the day before the Olympia and wake up absolutely battered. Um, I've told you my plan. My plan is to be full as a house by Thursday night and then have all, all Friday daytime and Thursday night to be able to manipulate water basically and, and try to bring myself in to certain look for that evening show on Friday. Jordan actually just shared a story on his Instagram, Yannicka, on his private one of the flight and with a heart like yes. So fingers crossed Jordan makes it. Um, I think it's just a wonderful experience for him as a coach. I said this to Ben today, like obviously Ben's a coach as well. And I said, it's just like good for everybody. Like everybody involved deserves to be here because it's such a tremendous one-off event that happens once a year. And it's the epitome of what we do. You know, it's the apex, it's the, it's the best of the best. And um, you know, if anyone, had the opportunity to be here, they would take it. So if you have got that invite through one means or another, if you are part of this weekend, then it's definitely worth being here. Plus he's my friend and I want him to come. <laughs> you know, so um, yeah, I think that's it guys. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna wrap this into a video. It's like a little vlog for today. I don't know how long it's gonna be. Just some of the footage that we've captured today and some of the chats. Again, these are just like vlog style, kind of freely flowing. I'm not trying to be impressive with my camera work. I'm not trying to be the next Christopher Nolan. Um, although if I could, I would because that man's pretty worth a small fortune. Um, but yeah, we'll do some more filming tomorrow and stuff um, and just catch up with people that we see. There'll be some cool stuff, especially after the Olympia uh, with some of the boys. So I'll be filming all week and trying to upload stuff as frequently as I can. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a little edit put together now. Very basic one and then uh, get that uploading so that there's something live possibly tomorrow for you guys to watch and keep an eye on what's happening so thanks again for tuning in please do tell your friends to join the channel uh like the most important thing for me really is a subscription and i'll be honest with you it's just because i really want a silver plaque <laughs> it's literally just that i just want to put that in my room the ego the ego wants the silver plaque um but yeah, no, liking and stuff is obviously important as well because then it lets me know that you do actually enjoy the content. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. So this is that's vlog day one because yesterday wasn't day one. Yesterday we arrived here and we went to bed. So day one in Vegas. Thank you very much. God bless you all.